All right, good evening, everyone. Let's begin. First off, we'll stand, please, and have a prayer and a pledge of allegiance. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for a chance to get together for this meeting tonight. This is a subject that comes up each year, and usually it's not a pleasant one, but nonetheless, we make uh, this time available for citizens to share their concerns, and we just pray, Father, that we will have uh, a respectful, open, and honest opportunity to share and communicate our feelings. Amen. We just uh, ask that you would preside now over this meeting. We turn it over to you. We give you the praise. We thank you for the citizens of Titus County, the taxpayers. We thank you for the employees. We thank you for elected officials, Lord, for uh, tonight. We just ask that you uh, be here with each one of us, Father. Speak through us. Uh, enable us to be good listeners as well. We pray it all in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, once again, welcome to our second tax rate hearing for the upcoming 2015-2016 budget year. This is your opportunity as citizens to express your honest and uh, forthright thoughts about our tax rate, which is obviously tied to our budget, which affects many of you in here, whether you're an employee, whether you're a taxpayer, whether you are both. And the commissioners and myself are here to listen to your concerns, and we understand you're probably not here tonight to tell us how great we are. We understand that this is a negative, uh, usually a negative time, and I would anticipate it being such. But nonetheless, we're going to have a hearing. I want, I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Uh, if you have questions, I'll do my best to answer them or one of the other commissioners. I will not require anybody to sign up on a sheet to speak. If you would like to speak, I will call upon you as I uh, see your hands come up. And you're welcome to come up to the podium. I would ask that you come to the podium because this is a video and audio recorded event. We have our camera in the back of the room, so you will see yourself on the county website on the YouTube channel. I will ask that you limit your comments to three minutes. At this time, I will welcome the first person that would like to speak. And I'll give you a few minutes if you're nervous to get your, to get your courage up, but we're not going to shut it down just because nobody is ready to raise their hand yet. While you're thinking about whether or not you would like to speak, let me tell you what our proposed tax rate is this year. And I apologize, but I've put out a document there on the table that reflected a total tax rate for Titus County of 47.75 cents. I hit the wrong button and got in a hurry. It is 44.75 cents. And the only piece of uh, information that I provided on the table over there, because I have uh, gotten several questions about how does our tax rate compare to other counties? This discussion came up the other night, and so I have given you a list of some comparables that I believe may be some information that you're not aware of. We are proposing an increase in the county tax rate. Not quite three cents, but very close to three cents. And yes, we have increased that rate over the last several years. As many of you know, we're looking at another significant devaluation of the luminant plant, but also some of the components of our budget have increased as well. So 44.75 cents, that is comprised of 32.46 cents of maintenance and operation tax rate and 12.29 cents of what's called interest in sinking or the debt service rate. That is money that is raised or revenue that is raised to service our bond indebtedness. Primarily, 99% of it is related to our loop. The loop was approved back in 2006 by the voters, and at that time they understood that there would be an increase in the debt service tax rate 
to take care of the obligations of, that the county took on in order to build that loop. Therefore, that INS rate or that debt service rate is not something that this group of gentlemen has control over. The uh, appraisal district tells us how much we have to set the rate at based upon the total value of the real estate, et cetera, in the county. So we have a fairly high INS rate at 12.29 cents, uh, but I consider that our maintenance and operation rate is quite low in comparison to our peers. But nonetheless, 44.75 up from 41.82 cents. Anybody decided they would like to step up to the mic? Ken, I just know you are. I just know you want to come up there. All right. I like a leader. I'd like to start off by just telling you guys. That Is that mic live, Ken? I just tap on it and be sure. Yes, very good. Thank you. Yeah, that would, that would help. Marcia Davis is here from our newspaper, and if you will state your name and what your position is, or... Uh, I'm uh, Kenneth Wilson. I'm an employee of Titus County and also a taxpayer here as well. Um, and I will tell you that I'm, I'm no stranger to taxes here. Um, I've got several rent houses, and, and I know how taxes are. But I saw some of the comments that were made um, in the paper uh, against you guys for uh, raising the taxes and against raising the taxes. Um, I think that's misplaced. I think that you're doing the best job that you can. Um, and I, I want to just let you know that we appreciate um, uh, the job that you struggle with. Y'all, every one of you are going through criticism, and and yeah, you know, uh, we we've, we've had to take some cuts. The employees ourselves that are very unpopular. Um, but you know, I, I think it's misplaced. And when you have a company, um, namely THU, trying to devalue their company down to fifty million dollars, I think it's ridiculous. And what I, what I think is, I think that we're going to be successful in that suit. Um, and I think it's a ridiculous, on behalf of that company, they should be ashamed of themselves for putting the taxpayers of this county in that kind of position. You as politicians aren't going to say that, and I understand that. But that's my comment, and I thank you all for doing uh, what you do. And, you know, I, I, I think it's misplaced, um, and I, you know, th there's going to be others that come up here today, and they're going to say, well, you should raise our tax rate. But truly, the reason that this tax rate is getting raised anyway is because THU is putting the burden on everybody else, including myself. I pay a lot in property tax. So... That, that's my position on it, and I want to thank y'all for, uh, you know, letting me speak this afternoon. Thank you, Kenna. Thank you. All right. Who's next? I know there's a couple more hands. Yes, ma'am. Judge, come on up. And I would like to too thank y'all for the job that you're doing. And I know it's hard. I know that there's a lot of uh, disputing going on. But I'd like to uh, talk about one of the disputes of saying that we are one of the highest paid elected officials. I'd like to give you a copy. Thank you. 
these are some counties around us. Some of them, the population is uh, less, and you'll see that they make more than we do. And there's some uh, that we make a little more than they do, but I'd like you to look at those, and you'll see that we're not the highest paid. I'd also like to thank all of these employees that are out here. I look around, and I've been here a long time. Most of them have been here about the same length, and I appreciate that. But, uh, you know, y'all have to make the decisions that you're going to make, and I just appreciate that you're willing to come and serve and remember that you're all elected, we're all elected, but we're also all taxpayers out here. So thank you. Thank you, Judge McNutt. Come on up. That's not true. Y'all are interested in us. Y'all are worried about how we, with our salaries, put food on our table, pay our bills, single parents, and I just want the public to know that it's a disgrace to say that y'all only want to please us in voice. Because most of us that's been here for years, we don't make $13, $14 an hour. Y'all are pleasing us. Y'all are trying to help better us by giving us an increase without raising taxes. And we, as employees, appreciate that fact. Thank you. Who's next? Don't be shy. <clears throat> well, again, this is our second hearing. We had our first hearing on Monday morning. It was a uh, calm meeting. Those that uh, had comments from our uh, from our residents of Titus County and taxpayers presented. Uh, <clears throat> made good presentations. It was not a uh, accusational situation, but uh, they did express their opinions. They've been consistent with their opinions, and we certainly respect those opinions, whether we always agree or not. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. How are you all doing? Maybe you can find a seat. If not, you're welcome to stand up along the, the wall there. Are you expecting trouble? <laughs> no. did, so, did somebody hit the panic button? <laughs> Nigel. Good evening. I'm the guy, one of the people that was quoted in the paper the other day. My name's Nigel Christopher. I run a business here in town. I've run businesses in uh, northeast Texas for the past 18 years. So I have a very good idea what it takes to make a buck that you then use to pay your taxes. Um, two, one question. Since our last meeting on Monday, have you guys decided to make any changes to the budget? I'll speak only for myself. What I have decided is not to increase the rate beyond 44.75 when earlier I had said that I thought we needed to raise it a little bit more to take into account the addition for the uh, sharing of three new firefighters. Okay. But I'm not going to recommend that we increase it beyond that proposed rate of 44.75. 
All right, a couple of comments. Uh, we've heard from, uh, so far from three county employees. I think every one of them said they worked here for several, you know, a good many years. Proven my point I made the other day and I've made before that people work for the county. They don't leave. The only place we get any significant turnover is in the county jail, as witnessed by these younger guys that just came in. And that's one of the, the tougher jobs and least rewarded in the county. But what I really want to address is my buddy here, Mike Fields, made a comment the other day that this county was well run. I have not agreed with that in several years and still don't agree with it. And in fact, what is going on at this meeting right now is that that guy who sits there and costs us $100,000 a year is hiding behind every one of these county employees. We can't get at his ridiculous benefits. This guy costs us $100,000 a year and his main job is to drink coffee up here every morning. He doesn't go out and work the roads. Jimmy Parker works the roads with his crew. Mr. Hinton does. Al Riddle does. But all this stuff has built up over the years, and the 30-something years that Mr. Fields has been a commissioner here, and he's hiding behind you guys to protect his benefits. He's done that for years. That's all I got. Have a good meeting. Thank you. All right, let's keep it quiet in here. I want to know who decided to run an ad in the paper that supposedly represents all the Republicans in this town. I'm a Republican. No, it's in this paid for by the Republican Party in Dines County. And, and I'm a Republican, and all of my friends mostly are Republicans. If you read it, none of them. If you read it, it specifically says it's the type of Republicans ticket. Well, the other part doesn't, but, I, but, but just be sure you sign your name and that you're just representing yourselves and not all the Republicans. Yeah, I am a Republican, but I'm not. All right, save it. The, the second thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say was when he was talking about Mr. Fields. Mr. Fields is elected by the people in his precinct. If they don't like the job he's doing, they won't re-elect him. And it's my understanding he's been here since 1986, so. You know, obviously, Nigel's thoughts of the not the same as people that live in the precinct. So I, I do think you need to remember that. These, these people are elected, and if they don't do the job they like, they don't re-elect you. So, uh, but I do, I am a Republican, and I was very offended by what they put in there, uh, about how the Republican Party is against some of the people on the air that happen to be Republicans. I'm very proud of the job y'all done. It's a hard job. I understand that some people, you know, nobody wants their taxes raised. I don't want my taxes raised. I'm also a businessman. And, and I've been a businessman as long as I've been a businessman. And I have to deal with people here in the community. And let me tell you, it doesn't do any local business any good when people lose jobs and when people get their pay cut. That doesn't help anybody in the entire community. It doesn't help me as a CPA. It doesn't help any of my clients that are businesses for people to lose jobs. And I think the other thing you need to remember is this all this big argument is over a three cent tax rate. Now, now granted, nobody wants their taxes raised. But I think you need to put a little bit of perspective. Number one, anybody that's over 65, their taxes are frozen. Number two, on an average house that costs hundred thousand dollars, and I think in Titus County the average house doesn't even cost hundred thousand dollars. But if you use a hundred thousand for a round number, we're talking about thirty dollars a year. We're talking about two dollars and fifty cents a month. And the homestead. Oh, that's yeah, that's not counting the homestead. So you know, I, I do think you need to keep some different things in mind. But I, I, I know I work with y'all all the time. I know those numbers probably as well as anybody does. And it's, uh, it, it, it's a very hard job. And I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, anyone else?
commissioners anyone have a comment maybe there's somebody else that will want to respond to anything you have to say uh, this is your time judge I'd like to say something I was elected in November 1986 took office January the 1st I'll start my 30th year January the 1st been a lot of changes in Titus County it's been for the good uh, I remember the first time we tried to put computers in Betty Farrell said that she just didn't want to do that and we did the next year I said well we need to probably take those computers out and she threatened to whoop me I guess I don't know she found out how much easier it was and how much faster it was she went from three weeks doing delinquents tax to 15 minutes doing delinquents tax that's a big difference technology has enabled us to keep our uh, employers or employees to a minimum we have hadn't had to increase a whole lot through the years and that's saying a lot and a lot of things have been accomplished and good things in this county and, and uh, I'm glad I was a part of that but it doesn't take one person it takes everybody working together to accomplish these things and, I, and I'll tell you right now, and he can accuse me of whatever he wants to. But you are you are what make this county. We're just up here representing our precincts and trying to maintain and continue to move this county forward. But you are the backbone of this county. The workers, the ones that, just like in any company, the workers are the backbones. You know. And you've done a great job, all the county employees can't say enough about you and I brag on you all the time because you do do a good job and by the way I do help my hands I do drive I got a class C uh, a class A driver's license anytime there's help out there I help if they need it and we're short-handed we got three hands where everybody else has got four so sometimes I have to help my first duty is to take care of things here in the courthouse I come up here I come up every morning I do things I need to do and then I go back. There's roads to be checked. There's bridges that have to be inspected. And you, at the time you get to all that stuff, I've got probably more bridges than other precincts put together. And that's a major deal, trying to get all that done. But we have good employees, and I'm proud of you, and I tell anybody that. You, you have made Titus County what it is. And uh, I appreciate the people. I appreciate how hard you work and I appreciate all the things that you do but as uh, long as uh, somebody's talking about me that's okay because uh, they won't be talking about you so I appreciate you continue to do the good job that you've been doing I didn't even I didn't even know you drank coffee I, I don't drink coffee by the way <laughs> I was a little boy growing up. My daddy made coffee every morning, and I love to smell coffee, but I do not drink coffee. And if you know, I can't guarantee this, but I'm certainly hoping and I'm praying that this will be the last year that we'll see a significant devaluation in our power plant. You know, you go from $1 billion back in 2008, and you slowly slide it down to $50 million dollars which is what we're basing our rate on. And we're certainly hoping that the lawsuit that Luminant has filed against the appraisal district will be settled at something significantly higher than 50 million. We don't know, but either way, we have to plan for the worst and therefore our rate is based on the assumption that Luminance will be successful at defending their $50 million rate. Of course, we all think that it will settle somewhere between 50 and 321 million, which is what the appraisal district set that value at. But if we're down to 50 million, there's not much more down it can go. I guess it can go to zero, but a $50 million decrease would be the smallest decrease we've seen in the last five years. So I hope we have some more pleasant news this time next year. I'm hoping that we're not having to raise the tax rate next year. I'm hoping we're not seeing any further devaluation. But more importantly, I'm hoping that our power plant runs more. I'm hoping that the EPA regulations are loosened. 
I'm hoping that their revenue increases because that's good for all of us. But I'm, of course, hoping for a higher valuation. But most of all, I'm hoping that that plant will continue to be here for years to come in some form or fashion. So that being said, let's hope for, uh, let's hope for better news next year when it comes to total county values. And we know that housing is firming up. We know that uh, commercial uh, values are firming up. And if we start seeing some increases in those properties, then that will help uh, compensate for what we've lost in the luminant valuation. We've got 14 miles of new loop, developable property. No, it's not going to happen overnight, but we hope in the years ahead that we'll start seeing some new things happening all around our loop. One business here, there, uh, and it'll begin to add up, and we'll start seeing some uh, a reversal of the trend of the devaluation of our county values, and that will certainly help our tax rate. But we're very fortunate to have those power plants. Uh, let's not forget the good days when they were paying 50 cents out of every dollar of our taxes. It's not the case anymore. That burden has been shifted to us. But nonetheless, we are fortunate to have had them there and continue to have them for several years. Commissioner Riddle, Parker, Hinton, anything you would like to add? Yes, I would. Sure. I would, uh, I would address the, uh, most of your county employees. And uh, I concur that uh, the, the, lower, the working pay people need to, need to raise. And I, could, I, I went for it. But I disagree that we need to raise taxes to give people making 50,000 50, plus a year a raise and it increase our tax rate by this much. I, I disagree with it. I think we could have made some cuts somewhere. We could have made Surely, all of you know of some places we could trim expenses. I know that uh, Judge Lee's been in business, and I know he's had experience in trying to reduce costs and so forth. And there are just many ways that I think if they, we could uh, approach it in an open discussion and with all the employees, that we could come out with some savings that I don't think that we've uh, done since the three or four years I've been coming to these and involved in the budget process. And uh, that's all I can say. I, I believe we, and I don't think we could have got around raising taxes this year at all. But I think we might have could have saved some money here and there. And I'm sure each one of you that work here know of something you see that I wish that we could probably save a few pennies. And I, that's the reason that I, th I really think we could have done without the higher paid employees or elected officials getting an increase in pay. And that's uh, what I, how I feel about it. Okay. Commissioner Parker or Commissioner Hinton? Judge, I'd like to say that <clears throat> I'm the new kid on the block up here, and this is something that, that I've dreaded since the first of the year. Um, I don't like ta raising taxes any more than anybody else does. Um, it's a job that, that has to be done sometimes, and, and some of those times that, that uh, there's, there's things out there that we can do to cut. Uh, and I would ask each and every one of you as employees to help us through this next year to figure out ways that, that we might could cut some, some areas. Um, it, uh, it's, it's been an enlightening year for me. I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, and I think I'll continue to enjoy it, and I, I enjoy serving the people. Uh, that's something that, that I've done most of my life, and, and uh, I, uh, I appreciate the uh, phone calls that I've received. I, I appreciate the, the uh, uh, messages that, that people have sent me, and, and I just ask that, that each and every one of you keep each and every one of us in your prayers that we can uh, can do what's right for Titus County. I guess I get to speak now. You get to speak. I'd just like to say thank you for each, to all the employees. Y'all are what makes the county run. Uh, we just sit up here. So I'd just like to say thank you all, each and every one.
All right, anybody have a change of heart and decide to speak? All right. Yes, sir, Captain. Thank you, Captain. We're well aware of that. All right. Well, again, thank you for your attendance. Again, take a look at that uh, comparison of our rate to other counties so that you can share that information with others. Uh, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't always be looking for ways to minimize our taxes. We're going to continue to do that. But you've got to be able to gauge your success against something. And I guess there's many ways to evaluate how you're doing, but I do believe that comparing our tax rate to our peers, whether it's Northeast Texas counties that surround us or whether it's other counties throughout the state with similar populations, I believe that that's a good, one good way to compare and to know how you're doing. Uh, again, we're gonna continue to do our best to keep taxes as low as we can. And it's our job to find a balance between what treats you fairly and what treats the taxpayer fairly. And we're not going to be beholden to one or the other. We're going to do what makes sense. And we're not going to keep salaries as low as we possibly can until people start quitting. You know, the comment was made that, you know, these county employees are not going to leave. Well, I don't think you ought to just keep pushing it downward and downward and denying raises until you start seeing them drop off. That shouldn't be the objective. And if you stay here two years or if you stay here 22 years, that's up to you. And as long as you're doing your job, you ought to stay here as long as you want to stay here. And hopefully we'll continue to provide a pleasant place to work, provide a reasonable rate of pay, provide reasonable benefits. And as long as we're doing that, I can assure you that I'll be able to sleep at night, whether you're unhappy with me or whether the taxpayers are unhappy with me. It's my job to find that balance, and it's the job of these guys up here. So again, just like they said, thank you for what you do. Thank you for being here tonight. I assume y'all didn't ask them all to be here tonight. It just turned out that way, but I think that's great. You have every right to be here as well. Since I have a captive audience here of employees, I will tell you uh, something that will be coming up, talking about health insurance. Uh, we are providing what I consider to be some top-notch health insurance benefits. And in fact, our benefits have gotten to the point where the cost of those benefits is pushing a limit that has been uh, called the Cadillac tax level. And what that means is under Obamacare, once the cost of insurance benefits per employee per month exceeds $850, certain uh, calculations are done that will produce what is, in effect, a penalty to that employer, or in our case, our county. So we will be having to take a close look at our health insurance in the months ahead and making sure that we do not subject the taxpayers to any kind of a Cadillac tax uh, as defined by Obamacare. Right now we're pushing the limits, so we're going to be looking at some innovative ways where we can minimize our health care costs without it being a large imposition on you. There are a number of ways that we can accomplish that. We can charge employees for the cost of their insurance. We can ask you to supplement the cost of your insurance. We can adjust deductibles. We can adjust co-pays. We can adjust several of the other small details of that. But either way, we're going to find the way 
whatever that is, to stay below that threshold that would cause us to be uh, liable for a penalty, but at the same time provide the best care that we can for you. And today the commissioners met for uh, over an hour with some representatives from Texas Association of Counties to talk about a wellness program. In other words, we're trying to find ways that don't cost you money in order to uh, keep controls over our health care costs and we're not going to slam on you anything overnight that's going to be radical but you will be hearing about some changes i believe in the days ahead ways to encourage you to get your physicals to encourage you to take the medicine that uh, you should be taking to control any health care concerns that a doctor may have over you uh, we went over a lot of things today and i haven't had a chance to visit with the commissioners about their thoughts on that but we will be discussing that in the days ahead. We're surrounded by other counties and other businesses that have had to make adjustments there. And of course, we'll have to make adjustments too, but we will try to do it in a way that is not uh, you know, a sudden impact on you that you can't handle. All right, that is all that I have. If there is no one else, I'm going to bring this to an end and let you all go home and do whatever you do. Thank you for your attendance. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Commissioner Hinton to adjourn and a second by second. Second by Commissioner Parker. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. You all have a good evening.